Welcome, Librans. All right, Librans, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the period. A four weeks period. Let's go in and see what is happening in transpiring. Wow, Librans. Okay, Librans, let's take a look. All right, so what is happening and what is transpiring? Uh-huh. Let's see. That's what you're going out of this period with. So um, we see the worries is over, whatever the worries at, at the workplace, whatever the worries you were dealing with, with some corporation institution, the worries is now over. Um, a lot of you were having in a conflicts uh, um, with at work. It is now over. Whatever the inner conflicts is and was going on, it is now over. And I see um, you are going to be um, holding on. And I see a problem is coming up for a Capricorn man. So whoever this Capricorn man is, some of you got caught up. This could be your boss, whoever the, your boss is, whoever this Capricorn man is. Um, people are going to be recognized that you were caught up with a situation, Librans. And what is, whoever this person is, this is coming up as a Capricorn boss. It's obviously, some of you have a Capricorn boss, or it can be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, or it could be just your boss. It is in a corporation institution. And now they're recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring. Because the five of swords is that you were worried, worried. Because you got caught up in some sort of a situation where your boss had gotten you caught up. You may, you could be a secretary, personal assistant, a supervisor, that sort of a thing. And now, um, whoever this boss is and whatever is transpiring, you Librin are going to be um, at the end of this period, recognizing that you come out of this situation, um, you know, without a scratch because... Um, whatever this boss have done and whatever documents you have signed or access or taken or um, whatever problem it is, so, um, I see no win for you. Liberance end is coming in for an Aquarian and I see people are going to be recognizing what was happening, what was transpiring in a corporation. Now, the thing about it is that some of it, this is civil servants, this is a government institutes the organization um, that it is transpiring in. So as you come in the month with the five of swords, it's Venus in Aquarian, Venus in Aquarian. So a lot of situation, and this is why I said uh, government, civil service, and that sort of a thing. Venus in Aquarius, okay? Venus in Aquarius uh, is broken down, government um, broken down rules and regulation, okay? That is the energy where Saturn is going to be coming in. So some sort of a broken down and humanitarian, facing defeats, conflicts, or fair, okay? So what is happening is, is, is that you guys come in this four-week period feeling as if uh, you're broken down, okay? Humil humiliated and facing defeat, conflicts, and fears, fears of failing. But that is not what happened, Okay? This is going to be reversing because um um the Venus in Aquarian is that uh, you know you lose love within yourself and is recognizing oh you know they defeat me I'm humiliated and I'm facing defeat no because you're going to be recognizing that this corporation is not who and what they said they are okay um the the elephant is linked with the Tauruses this corporation institution so it's your company and. It represents the tradition, knowledge that is necessary to function as society. And this um, institution do not have that. So there was some sort of a breakdown. So if some of you work in a civil service, um, um, you're going to be recognizing some sort of a breakdown of some sort of a horrible situation where the rules and regulation and how things should have gone is broken down. Mercury in Aquarian. Mercury in Aquarius. Mercury in Aquarius. Mercury in Aquarius. That is the center of uh, your month. So it's, it's going to be your curious 
about certain situation that is happening around you in this corporation institution okay um you're in search of knowledge and mental explosion okay an objective rational mind and a, a purposeful one and this is it um Libran. this is how you are you are curious about the next move and what is going to be co coming up for you in a company all right you need knowledge you need to be knowledgeable about what is coming up in a company and you you know you're going to be mentally um thinking and exploring what is best for me okay so you see that this, there's a breakdown in a corporation institution you recognize that i have been trying to like clear some sort of a stability i've been trying to you know ch make certain changes i've been trying to um advise and bring back discipline and bring back a, a better process a smoother process to how um we do things but it's as if no one is listening and no one is uh, um aware of what is transpiring and the energy of uh, the chariot is that you know there is no movement so i see an end so for some of you liberals an end could be coming in in a corporation for you an end could be coming up at work for you um and it could be a personal ending where you're like, I'm no longer going to be pushing the situation because no one is listening. And I am, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be taking on everyone's duty because this process is not working and no one seems to be recognizing. A lot of you Libran, there is a Capricorn man that is uh, um, either working against you or isn't on your team and when we say isn't on your team is that this person wants to create a lot of issues uh, for you at the workplace so um recognize this um Libran. a lot of you be aware of uh, this man because this man is trying to create some sort of an issue for you so mercury in aquarius is a six of swords curiosity and knowledge you're ending and some of you are thinking about walking away from a um, civil service um, duty because you recognize that that uh, um, the process is not going in if you notice the energy of the angman is that you're going within and looking at all the issues and the problems and you try to um, you know balance out the situation but it's as if no one um, is listening to you that sort of a thing so I see that some of you are going to be thinking about ending and moving um looking for something much better because you recognize that it's not the process um the experience and knowledge that people the rules that was created are being broken no one is everyone is having their own opinion and that is what is ruining a corporation institution so um we see um you ending some sort of a, a corporation with a leo um because you recognize who this leo is and how this leo um create issues i see um a, a ending is coming in for a leo in a corporation institution because they recognize that this leo has gone overboard okay so a lot of you are dealing with uh, um the energy of the chariot and it's in reverse okay um and that is associated with activities so a lot of uh, um activities process duties is not being uh, recognize their people are not going by the rules uh, the company rules and that sort of a thing and a breakdown is there okay so a lot of you are, are going to be um, thinking about proceeding and you know creating new processes or you are going to be basically moving away from this uh, um situation and either look for something else uh, or go to build a better stability for you so it is a sense where especially in civil service a lot of people are going to be recognizing hey i've been here for so long you know this has this has gone to the pieces no one is is is, is going by company rules and no longer and you know you liberals need to go by some sort of a rules you're recognizing that everyone just have their own opinion so then we move to the four of pentacles the four of pentacles is the sun in capricorn the sun in capricorn is determined uh determination and strength okay this is all about uh, 
the four towers offer um, a stability your financial stability okay so when you're building your financial stability you have four towers that you establish limitation and boundaries and a lot of you are going to be doing that in the third week where you are going to be establishing these limitations and boundaries so there you are ending some um um ending a situation in a corporation institution because you recognize that everyone had their own opinion everyone had their own um ideas of how things to go nothing was being done by the absolutely nothing was being done by um the the company rules i mean it was as if uh, everyone just do their thing but there was chaos in the middle of resolving some sort of an issue um it has been chaotic since the covid virus and now people are you know, kind of ending this and bringing back and saying, hey, we did have a company book. A lot of you are going to be um, updating the company um, rules and regulation and showing this up. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing that things was chaotic. Things just went chaotic, okay? A lot of you are dealing with um, a businessman whoever this businessman is, fire of heart, okay? Once they're businessmen, they're fire of heart, okay? And whoever this businessman is, some of you is a doctor in the hospital that you're dealing with, okay? Whoever this person is, uh, um, a lot of you in a hospital is dealing with a doctor and this doctor is saying, Jesus, no one is, uh, everyone um, is, you know, doing their own thing and not going by um, the company rules. And I see it. Um, if you're a doctor, you're going to be going um, to personnel or going to um, the CEO of uh, the, the hospital and said, listen, everyone is working off their own agenda and this can't be. You know, we're here um, to protect lives and uh, or we're here to protect customers or we're here to protect our clients. Uh, and I see that you're going to be asking them, hey, um, this is where I bring in my abundance, prosperity and confidence. So. I want to make sure that people are treated and loyalty or between us and the customer. So I see whoever this person is, is going to be raving and ranting in order to bring back some sort of uh, um, loyalty to the customer because they recognize that the customers were given um, or treated unkindly and there was no loyalty between and it's as if uh, it, everything was in chaos. Everything is in chaos. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing this. And whether or not you're going to be doing something, you're going to be pushed to do something. Because on the you is the link of Neptune. And Neptune is associated with breaking away from the old pattern in order to resolve the situation. So a lot of you, the old pattern was chaos and um, everyone do what they do and that sort of a thing. And the new pattern is that you're going to be creating um, stability. You're going to be um, creating stability and bringing back stability in a chaotic corporation institution that chaos was the name of the game. Here you go, ending this four weeks period, bringing back um, stability at this corporation institution. So, you know, this is... Um, absolutely wonderful and um you know why it is so wonderful is because you're now recognizing um that the chaos and the people who had their personal agenda could not work anymore in this corporation institution because what it was doing is basically creating a lot of issues for other people the workflow the work workflow was not good and that sort of a thing and I see that whoever this person is, um, because this is Sun in Capricorn, okay? So a lot of you want to bring back some sort of a process in a corporation institution because you need to hold on on this job. You want to hold on this job. You need to hold fast on this job. And this business, 
this corporation, this situation, you needed to hold on on this job. So the chaos that other people were creating and the, the personal agendas that they have and was using, you're going to be ending this and said, no, no more. Um, this is not going to be happening on my book. We need to rebalance this situation. So some people will choose to do it. Some people will say, hey, <laughs> um, you know, zoop, uh, um, figure it out yourself. So it depends on who you are and what is your frequency, and that is going to be helping you. I do love you, Librans, but I got to go. Show your loves by and only thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Show your loves by thumbs up. You will, this chaotic situation that you got called to which will be resolved, and you're going to be moving forward. Um, I am going to be moving forward also. I will see you on the other side. If not, I will see you for the mid-monthly. Namaste.